Yo, welcome back guys to another video. In today's video, I will be teaching you the free must learn mechanics in Rocket League. Now that the RLCS got announced and anyone can participate, it's crucial to learn these mechanics in order to win all of RLCS. That's right. If you learn all these free mechanics, you will win the RLCS. Allegedly. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe and comment down below your favorite type of Polish pierogi. And let's start with mechanic number one the wave dash. So starting off easy, the wave dash is a must learn mechanic as it helps with recoveries like no other mechanic in the game. The mechanic is very simple to do. You simply jump, tilt your car slightly backwards and when your back wheels make contact with the ground you do a front flip, allowing you to wave dash and gain a lot of speed. The wave dash is mainly used for rotation after being the first man and running out of boost. If you don't have a lot of momentum you can just wave dash and you will be back in no time. However the wave dash can also be used as a freestyle mechanic with something called the ceiling wave dash or a chain dash. But that's not why we're here to learn this. Using it in that way is a lot more complicated and won't win you the RLCS like the standard wave dash will. Allegedly. Now moving on to mechanic number two, the half flip. Now getting a bit more difficult, the half flip is a great mechanic for rotations and readjustments on your car. The mechanic is a bit harder to do than the wave dash but it's still a fairly easy mechanic to learn. So in order to do the half flip you need to learn how to flip cancel. First step you need to do a backflip, then do that backflip again but just as soon as you do the backflip motion you pull back on your stick allowing you to flip cancel. Congratulations you just learned how to do a flip cancel. Now in order to do a half flip you need to do a flip cancel that you just learned and in the middle of the flip cancel you need to rotate your car so it lands on all wheels. That way you save a lot of time rotating as you don't have to turn your car and you don't have to swerve around and drift. You can just simply do a half flip and be on your way back. However, the half flip can also be used as a defensive mechanic to catch your opponents off guard. As when you're shadow defending, you can just do a half flip and hit him with a quick counter attack, which will most likely result in a goal. But you have to be very careful with that. You need to time it pretty much perfectly because he could just flip as soon as you do the half flip and at higher level you will get caught with that. But at a lower level, I wouldn't be worried about that. Overall though, the half flip is a very crucial mechanic to learn in order to rank up and it's a very useful mechanic to have in your arsenal. Last but not least, mechanic number three the speed flip. In my opinion the hardest on this list is the speed flip. However it is the most important one of those three in my opinion. The speed flip makes you go from a movement lobotomy victim to an absolute movement beast. The speed flip is hard to teach but to simply put it you basically diagonal flip cancel and you just readjust your car to land on four wheels. I will link a very good tutorial on how to do the speed flip as if I was to teach it it would just be a very prolonged video as it is a bit complicated to teach and to learn so I'll just link a really good tutorial down below. So there is a lot of benefits to a speed flip. It allows you to rotate faster, attack faster, defend faster and just basically do everything faster. It's literally an upgraded front flip. You can combine the speed flip with a wave dash that you just learned to gain a lot of speed instantly. And overall I just think the speed flip is just such a must have mechanic. It is the most complicated out of those three I just taught you. But it is definitely without a doubt the most important one. So these three mechanics are in my opinion the most important mechanics that you can learn at any level. And it will make you a 10 times better player if you get consistent with them. Now this is a very important point. If you can just do a half flip, then that's not really impressive. Anyone can learn a half flip in training within like five minutes, but to actually implement it into your game and get consistent at it, that's the most important part. That's what will win you the games. That's what will improve you as a player. So remember that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of a shorter video than usual. But as an experienced player, I just wanted to give out some advice on the three most important mechanics. In my opinion, the most important, but I think it is I think you can't really argue that. I guess you can be really broad about it and just say like a front flip, but I wouldn't consider that like a mechanic that you need to learn that's just implemented in the game like for like beginners to do. But these are a little bit more advanced, but also like beginners can learn them. So yeah, I hope you found this video informative. Uh, I hope you could learn something from it. And yeah, that's it. Peace.